It has been announced that the Oxford coronavirus vaccine has shown a strong immune response in adults in their 60s and 70s, raising hopes that it can protect age groups most at risk from the virus. Results on whether the vaccine stops people developing COVID-19 are expected in the upcoming weeks. But what does this mean for the future? It is an exciting prospect this morning, the fact that the Oxford vaccine is actually getting an immune response. So that means that the, the T cells and the antibodies are actually rising substantively as a result of the actual uh, vaccine in the pilot. What we're waiting for, of course, is to know, does that transfer into actually protecting you against the disease of uh, coronavirus, COVID-19. And I think we've every reason to be optimistic that that actually will indeed be the case. And of course, the other part of the exciting news is that patients over 70 uh, are having equally as good uh, an immune response as younger patients, younger people. Now that's important because at the present time, it's much more significant in the older population, people over the age of 70, and also of course, people with underlying health conditions. So we want all the good news that we can get and I think this is genuine hope at the present time. Once the vaccine is approved it can be given the green light to be used on people worldwide. So does this mean we can return back to some form of normality? I think when the vaccine comes eventually we will get back to a normality but it's not going to happen overnight and I think people are actually realising that now. Covid-19 we are going to have it for you know, a long time indeed, maybe indeed forever, just like the flu virus, which is with us all the time and mutates from one year to another. And therefore, till the world gets back to normality, that is going to take a, a bit of time. I don't think there's any doubt about it.